Yeah. What's going on, Buckeye Nation? Welcome back to the Dot the I podcast. Before we get started, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are brand new. Our Buckeyes moved to five and zero after another dominating performance against Purdue, seventy to twenty one. The Buckeyes started slow, trailing at the end of the first quarter, but they put the pedal to the floor, scoring forty nine points between the second and third quarter. Ohio State finished with over 770 total yards and went perfect inside of the red zone. DH7 had that big game we were looking for, 242 yards and four touchdowns. 2-5 had another 2-5 day. Uh, Weber carried the ball 17 times for 126 yards and three touchdowns. DeMario McCall showed why he is the most dangerous player in the nation. Seven carries for 83 yards and two scores, two catches for 22 yards, and another 224 return yards. Ben Victor had a monster day receiving five catches, and three of them were touchdowns. Austin Mack was close to breaking the century mark with three catches for 96 yards and one score that was amazing. He put a spin move on a cornerback, and he was off to the races. The Silver Bullets gave up 21 points, 14 really because that last TD was in garbage time. Wes May led the team with nine tackles. Kendall Shedfield got his third interception on the year, and Jonathan Cooper had the lone sack on the day. The secondary gave up 228 yards and one touchdown to Sindler, but the running defense was strong, only giving up 101 yards to three different ball carriers. So the Buckeyes moved to 5-0 and while Purdue falls to 1-4. and Here's a look at the top 10, and there's a change at the top. Clemson has taken over the number one spot in the nation. The Buckeyes fall to two, followed by Florida State. LSU moves up four spots. Auburn sits at five. Kansas State jumps nine spots to six. Florida, Vitek, Stanford, and Marshall round out the top 10. The class of 2020 is getting bigger and better. Defensive end Pierre Stevenson is signed. Linebacker U is getting a new addition with Chris Valentine committing, as well as defensive end Danny Winston. They round out the newest commits to the Buckeyes. We're still in the lead for our top two recruits, Newman and Walker, but trailing big time for defensive end David Poland. John Pittman is a D tackle that we're trying to bring into the fold, but Western Michigan and Texas are leading the way. Three-star tackle Joe Sanders from Ohio just signed his letter of intent today, so that makes a total of nine commits so far, giving the Buckeyes the number two recruiting class in the nation behind Oklahoma. Next up is the Battle of Ohio as the Bowling Green State Falcons come to the shoe. The Falcons are led by quarterback James Morgan. He's passed for almost 1,100 yards and has 13 touchdowns on the year. We're looking at another dual threat at running back. Matt Domer and Terrence Stevens Jr. have a combined 648 yards on the year. Janarvis Pugh leads the team in receptions with 34 catches and almost 500 receiving yards. Look for Kendall Sheffield and Sean Wade to have their hands full with him. Our Buckeyes need to remain focused during this game, man, because after this is the meat of the schedule. We take on Penn State, Michigan State, and the team from up north. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're brand new. And drop comments down below. If you want to see more of the recruiting class, uh, if you want to see more stats, let me know down in the comment section, and we'll definitely get that on for you. And don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter, at Big C Gat Game, and we'll check you out right back here in Columbus when we take on Bowling Green. See you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.